we have the best in the business right now with Rip X. I can genuinely say I was so impressed. The Rip itself came out crystal clear, which I love. Dum, 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 dum. Let's flatten pitch and try the bass from the other song. <laughs> did a pretty good job on the bass. Let's try to experiment with that. I'll duplicate this layer, pitch it up. Okay, that is cool. Listen to how quick this workflow is. It's just play and hover and you hear stuff immediately. No having to click route 30% whatever. It's all very quick. It takes so long to get Go with the melodic minor. That's pretty cool. You can actually see the individual notes of each instrument and layer on the screen. It really helps you to understand the timing and articulation of the music. Within the app, you're also able to change the key, tempo, add effects to each instrument. For musicians such as myself, the way that I'll be using this is to practice. So you can load a track and then mute the piano part, and then you can practice your piano part to it. That's huge. And the ability to quickly transcribe complex songs. So I'm literally processing this audio in real time on the bottom you can set the musical scale i can change this to harmonic minor and see what happens <laughs> okay so you can save instruments from other songs but you can also save instruments from vsts so let's try that it's in the sound panel with this plugin icon here let's see what we have let's take a preset i know i like this one instrument name so it will be a piano then click import addictive keys custom piano okay it's there in the scales menu you have the randomize button let's say i don't like this kick go over here to kicks and then try out a couple different kicks Let's try to shift the formants, add a harmony, and then reshift the formants in the place it was originally. I'll add a formant shifter with a harmony and a formant shifter again. So let's detune that down and then detune that up. No, don't talk much, we're scared for short of man and snow. Once and for all, in case I need it, I'm clearing. Check this out. Sounds cool, right? So now I'm gonna come up here to file and I'm gonna go to export. Down here, file format, MIDI note, and then we're gonna click export. And I'm just gonna drag it into Mediculous. There, let's press play. Pretty accurate, right? The fluidity and ease of listening back to things and experimenting, I think, is really, really well done in this tool and something that I didn't expect. It reminded me when I first tried an iPhone and I'd be like, what, I can check my mail as a podcast plays in the background and then I can swipe to go to a YouTube video and, and nothing crashes. That's kind of the experience that I have with this that I just was not ready for. And I think the team deserves to be commended for just how quickly things play back and you can hear stuff and audition stuff and then keep moving. In terms of applications, I think it can be very cool to do some remixes if you want to isolate the vocals, for example, or to do some covers if you want only the instrumental. It can be good for DJs if they want to prepare their stems for a mix. It can be good as well to do some mashups and the possibilities in terms of sound design is pretty cool as well. In terms of sample preparation, I think it's a very powerful tool with a lot of arrangement possibilities.